Black Widow spider can consume up to 20 mates in a single day. Honeybees' genitals explode and snap off inside their queen to ensure that no sloppy seconds can fit. <laughs> Female brown trout prematurely fake orgasms to make the men prematurely ejaculate so they can swim off to find a mother better nate, mother nature's form of eliminate. When a male porcupine meets a girl he likes, they face belly to belly before he coats her head to toe in hot steaming urine that can shoot up to six feet. Yet despite this delicious little practice, they are one of the only furry fuckers that will mate for 365 days a year without being in heat. When it comes to Mother Nature, primates are the definition of boring sex. Hell, even canines probably took doggy style first. A silverback gorilla's got a two-inch cock. <laughs> An Argentine luck has got 18, shaped like a corkscrew, long enough to lasso back an escaping mistress. You see, us monkeys ain't all that special. But we'll never be convinced, thinking we'll be the rooster's cock of the walk, when even a dolphin has a retractable penis, and a pig's orgasm lasts for 30 minutes. 30 minutes, y'all. Stop eating bacon. <laughs> Maybe that's why we fell in love at the Oakland Zoo. Two bipedal primates on a Monday morning trying to decide where we stood underneath the birds and the bees. It had been two weeks of trying to slither through each other's lives, but we had too much cold-blooded, but we had too much shed skin and no new coat to show for it. The night before, we scared each other when we woke up wrapped hotter than a chain of orangutans. We'd been circling each other like sharks over a bleeding dolphin, trying to decide if we should evolve and give an opposable thumb up or down to... Uh, monogamy. <laughs> when we dated, how a cat will kill 15 mice in a row before it finally stops. I didn't drag any bodies to your doorstop, but I could really see that red hourglass on your belly and your ex-boyfriends in your teeth. Couldn't I tell you if I should bring you flowers or buy my own funeral wreath? But I made you my best drawings in the dirt, beat my chest, and it still wasn't enough. I knew this monkey had to get down to business before he flooded off into the distance, so he went to the Oakland Zoo, the most ghetto zoo in all the Bay Area. It was two for one day. The Oakland Zoo, to watch the gibbons pick each other's fur clean, to listen to the parakeets talk shit. To watch the alpha male chimpanzee beat the shit out of his tire swing just to impress the ladies. And I tuck my hand in yours, tighter than a marsupial's pockets. Because I realize, without DNA's version of love, the whole world would go extinct. Maybe it's our pheromones. Something as simple as the animalistic need to breed to keep us coming past mutation and adaptation. But in the last 2,000 years, no new animal has ever been domesticated. And there's one million ants for every person in this room, but we're all hardwired to search for the one. And like a male black widow, we walk the web without a choice. Some say monogamy is natural, but I say sheep are natural and sheepskin condoms are man-made. Snakes see through their eyelids. Crickets hear with their knees. Butterflies taste with their feet. I'm not a worm with one ten hearts, but you made me a hedgehog with only one that beats 3,000 times a minute. Too often, I've dated like a goldfish with a memory of only three seconds, but you remind me why moths drink the tears of elephants, why tapeworms love those who got guts. So this is my grasshopper serenade to the male black widow, that little man who walks the web, even if he can see her hunger, waiting in eight lidless eyes and her ex-boyfriend's dead under her silk-spun legs, he walks the web because he dares to think He's going to be the only one that lives.